Y'all get ready? Yes, you get Hell ready. We are gathered here today to sip some tea, honey. So make sure you guys have your teacups ready because this tea is what? Piping hot. So I'm loving this new teacup. It has this little heart-shaped handle. It definitely goes with my brand. So anyways, please don't forget to go on to lovelytea.net or amazon.com forward slash shops forward slash lovely tea for all your tea sipping needs. We just got a big shipment in of different types of teas. We got more mesh tea balls. So you guys, make sure you guys go on there to check it out. Once again, thank you guys so much for the support and stay tuned for the video. Okay, so I want to go ahead and talk about this little boosty video that's going viral all over social media. A lot of folks have been sending it to me because as you guys know, I did the video about two months ago when his baby's mother had recorded him threatening her and the daughter and basically low-key admitting to killing her brother, okay? So this entire situation is just really disturbing. Now he's on the gram talking about this guy's death, talking about he has money to his face, he's talking about the guy's too far down, he can't hear him, basically mocking the death of this young man and other men too, it sounds like in this video. So it's really, really disturbing what he's doing. I want you guys to go ahead and check this out and I'm gonna come back with the rest of my commentary. The father and my nigga. He want attention, he's a sucker duck. Couple years later, I caught a murder charge. For my baby mama, brother. Fuck it. Rest in peace. Yeah. I ride for you, bitch, with steps. Yeah. Fuck it. Yeah, you bitch, it ain't bitch, you know how we come. Yeah. Bitch, you out of line, you play anybody. Straight the fuck up. Nigga, know how we come. Out the gate. Yeah. Bitch, lay down. Straight up. Bitch, lay down. We don't want to talk about it. Yeah, we don't want to talk about it. Yeah, bitch, lay down. Or get this put on. Yeah, be good. Straight up. Bitch, we got war stories. Bitch, stop playing. We got war stories. I mean that. Yeah. You supposed to sneak a coward, nigga. Yeah. Couple years later, I caught a murder charge for my baby mama, brother. Fuck it. Lay down. I don't care. Ah, give me rug. Give me rug. Give me rug. Yeah, lay down, nigga. Yeah. I don't Lay down, nigga. Bitch ass, nigga. Ain't no love for none of y'all bitch ass, nigga. Straight up, nigga. If you on their team, ain't no love for y'all bitch ass, nigga. If you affiliate with any of them niggas, ain't no love for y'all bitch ass, nigga. Yeah. Straight up, nigga, you know how I'm coming. Yeah, bitch, lay down. Talk from the grave, bitch ass, nigga. Yeah, fat mouth from the grave, bitch ass, nigga. Yeah, fat mouth from the grave, bitch ass, niggas. Why I eat like this? Like, why I eat like this? Fat mouth from the grave, old bitch ass, nigga. Yeah, we don't talk till it's done. Yeah, fat mouth from the grave, all y'all bitch ass, niggas. I can't hear y'all right now. Are y'all too far down deep? You heard me? Talk shit from the grave, bitch ass nigga. Yeah. I can't hear you. I can't hear you, nigga. You too far down. Talk it from now on there. I don't hear you no more. Yeah, off the fucking flap. Yeah, off the fucking flap. I can't even hear you right now. You can't even tell your niggas to ride. <laughs> they can't hear you. They cannot hear you. You can't tell your niggas handle your business. They cannot hear you. You too far down. I don't give a fuck, nigga, off the fucking flap. Yeah. And you can't come back off the flap. Yeah, we made a nigga take a fucking nap. And you can't come back off the flap. We done made you take a nap off the flap. Lay down. Hey, hey. Off the motherfucking flap. It's bigger than this rap. Bitch, we, you, you will take a fucking dirt nap, bitch ass nigga. Hey, when you go down, it's too, you, you 
down too far. Your niggas can't hear you, man. I can't hear you. My phone busy. Bitch, if you took a dirt nap, you deserve it. Ain't no fucking remorse for you. Fuck you. Bitch, you took a dirt nap, you deserve it, because I don't fuck with nobody. So if you took a dirt nap, bitch, you deserve it. You're supposed to die twice, because I don't fuck with nobody. So if you took a dirt nap, bitch, you're supposed to die twice. Really, Boosie? Really? It seems like ever since he's gotten out of prison, you know, because he can't go back for double jeopardy. It seems like he's not trying to take on this persona of the person who murdered his baby's mother's brother because why in hip hop, you know, it looks cool to be a killer. It looks cool to be about that life. And I feel like now he's really trying to perpetuate that. And I'm not saying that maybe he wasn't out there shooting and, you know, doing stuff to people because I've definitely heard rumors, but it seems like, you know, instead of him being quiet and taking this shit with him to the grave, he wants to embrace it and brag about it. You know, and the whole situation is sad. No matter what issues he may have had with the baby mother's brother, they have children together, they have a child together, and that is still that child's dead uncle. And then to see the father online bragging and talking about this, like this is normal, like this is okay, is really disturbing. You know, what I also find funny is that Boosie can sit up here and brag and laugh and key key about a dead black man, but yet and still, this is the same man that y'all say is so hood and so about that life and you know, so hip hop. Do you know he's signing a new young white rapper, a 12 year old boy, I think his name is called Little Blurry, some little some shit, honey. Some little white boy who can barely rap on beat, he seems to forget the lyrics to his song, but Little Boosie is signing him and has been toting him around. And the thing that's funny is that I know for a fact a few of Little Boosie's children rap, because I remember his daughter was coming out with a mixtape at one point in time. They try to turn me to a hater, but I never hated. I always knew that I was greater, so I kept my patience. You get on Talk about me, you won't entertain me. But they must don't know that age don't mean nothing. I ain't scared to face them. See, I was very respectful. I always use my manners. But see, you took it to that level. Now I won't dare to dash it. I swear I love my sisters. Oh, God, I love my brothers. Ain't it ain't nothing that you can tell me. Make me turn against them. They say she thinks she grown. They say she thinks she own. Say she her daddy's favor. But they never mention we all bought. We break us off with paper. They never told you we be friends from first one to later. They never mentioned that we still good. Why he was cased up. They never mentioned that we stick by side. Never break up. They never mentioned we'll go to war with any hater. They never mentioned I ain't miss a visit. Never gave up. I've You can say what you say. You can think what you think. I don't see him really promoting them or trying to put them on. But now all of a sudden he's putting out his money and bank and everything else. He's putting out his money and reputation behind this little white boy. So y'all go ahead and check this out. I'm going to come back with the rest of my commentary. No, Going down, billion dollar kid. We taking over the industry. We sitting down, we making big moves. It's up. Guys, I'm finally going back to school. I'm so excited for tomorrow. Now, I need you guys to tell me which outfit to wear. Should I wear the Section 8 with the Kappa and the Jordan? Or the Burberry, the black jeans, and the Gucci's? Now, let me know in the comments. All right. Let's or I'm coming, yeah. Don't know All right, honey. Y'all just seen the video, Lil Boots and his new little white friend. Okay, and basically that's his new little white puppet. He's trying to, you know, make some money off of him and everything else. But I find it funny that all these rappers are now trying to attach themselves to these, you know, these racially ambiguous rappers. You had Kanye West doing the video the other day with Lil Pump. Your fucking hoe, I love it. Your boyfriend is a dork. Make love it. I'm a sick fuck. I like a quick fuck. I'm a sick fuck. I like a quick fuck. You know, you had all these rappers running behind Daniel Bagoli and Little Tay and everything else. But then these same rappers will cry about this generation's rap music and how there's not enough black rappers and rappers getting watered down and the face of hip hop is changing. Well, if the face of hip hop is changing, blame yourselves, okay? Because you guys are co signing these Mexican rappers, these white rappers, and everything else to be your replacements. So while you're sitting here bragging about the death of another black man, but in the same breath trying to put on this white 12 year old rapper, 
It just lets me know everything I need to know about Lil Bootsy. That video of him talking about his baby's mother's brother and the death and him being dead and everything else was so uncalled for, so tacky, and just sad. And it's sad that you can sit there and laugh about the death of another black man. You know what I'm saying? But you won't have that same energy towards the white man who's supposedly holding everybody down in this country, okay? We always have energy to bring down our own and talk bad about our own, but we won't bring that same energy to go fight white supremacy. You know, so that video to me is just disgusting. Anybody condoning that, you obviously have issues just like little Bootsy. You know, it's one thing to do dirt, but keep that shit to yourself. You know, he's starting to let, he's too old to let social media have him out there like that, okay? You know, granted he can't go back to jail for this shit. The fact that he doesn't even have enough coof to keep this shit off his social media says everything I need to know. And that's why I definitely believe everything his baby mama was saying about him a few months ago when she was blasting him on Instagram. So anyways, y'all, let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. Let me know your thoughts on this entire disturbing situation. Once again, concerning Lil Boosie. All right, deuces. Hey you guys, it's your girl T and I hope you really enjoyed that video. If you want to know more about my look of the day or if you want a way to contact me concerning advertisement and sponsorship deals, definitely feel free to click my description box. There's plenty of information in there. Please stay tuned for the next video. Talk to y'all later.